13 and a half years, I was in prison. I committed uh, manslaughter, so I was arrested on National Day 1993. So uh, from then onwards, for the next 13 and a half years, I was in prison. A friend of mine recommended me to attend this uh, Bible study. At that point of time, I was a student in prison. So I just attended for the sake that I don't have to go back to my cell so early. And um, over the course of that uh, Bible study, right, as I began to listen to the testimonies and the teachings, right, one day it all made sense and I accepted uh, Jesus into my life, contribute to being an ex-con and also because uh, I've led a life being irresponsible. Yeah, I don't think a person like me right, would become a husband or a, a dad. Uh. Being a father and a husband right now is really by the grace of God. I really can't answer the part about if my father was still alive then. He passed away on my 13th birthday. He had a heart attack and um, he, at the time he was hospitalized already and he didn't um, go through. I thank God that um, ever since I came out from prison, right, that he has put quite a few godly men in my life to be father figures, uh, even though they may be just a few years older than me or younger. <laughs> so um, it has helped in the sense that I have examples and um, people that I can confide in. You know that, that there is someone you can talk to to seek for advice who maybe at the point of time he can't give you an answer but would pray with you, uh, pray for you and walk that journey with you. Um, I was also taught that one of the love languages is time. As for work, I'm a full-time food delivery rider. I'm on my bike almost 9-10 to 10 hours a day. After a long days of work, there's this tendency that you just want to have dinner, shower and just relax, right? Um, I will actually do my best to bring him out to a fast food outlet and we have ice cream and um, talk. <laughs> but I would say that um, no matter how right, child right, we want to spend time with their parents. I spend time with them because I love them and that most importantly that they know that um, the dad me is there for him. I like badgers and patches. Uh, so <laughs> I found out that they actually have this patch called Awesome Dad with the silhouette of a man holding his uh, child up. I wanted to buy the badge, but I dared not because of the words awesome dad. And I was thinking, wow, what would people say and all that? Until one day, um, I came to realize uh, that being an awesome dad, right, doesn't mean that you are perfect. We are imperfect, like everybody. But it just means that you can still be an awesome dad, being that in our imperfection, uh, we do our best, right, by God's grace and strength to change and uh, to be a better uh, father. I will make mistakes. There are times when I can't be there for them, but then God is always there for them. Yeah, That is the one most important thing that I want them to know. At the end of the day, what we leave behind that legacy to our family and to others, right? That makes a big difference. Huh? Yeah.